Hey guys, still here. Welcome back to Wargame Red Dragon. Today, we're looking at a 10v10 tactical. We're going to be operating on Mudfight, and we're following Flavin over here. We sent in the replay, and it's titled Finnish Ninjas. So we're going to be seeing some guys operating either behind enemy lines or something like it. If you're seeing chat on screen, that means that this is one of those live recorded replays, if that makes any sense. I record the videos and chat can immediately jump on Twitch and discuss it with me. It's a sort of experimental format and this is the third video that I'm doing that way. Let me know what you think about it down below in the comments. Now this is a quick replay. It's 17 minutes. That's all. I doubt they're going to get to 6000 points in 17 minutes, so I'm thinking that they're more likely to get towards the enemy base in 17 minutes. Let's see. What does he have for allies or for supports? Um, KT, we have a tank. A Moderna, we have a tank. A second Moderna, what? Hold on. Ah, it's Argmalon and Madis. Both going in with a super heavy. Okay. This is going to be interesting. Does that mean that the right flank has enough? T80UM. T72M1 mod. Eh, it's not stellar. Where are you? Here you are. Eh, that's a 165 point tank. Does have enough AP. Uh, frontal armor could be a problem. Depending on the type of tank that we're running into. Now. He's getting scouting support from the Salamandra. Of course there is artillery coming in. Because get creative and shoot at something else. But the main focus here are the Super Pumas. He was able to buy quite a few of those. That's six helos. Huh. Okay. Interesting. So does that mean that he has... Yeah, he doesn't have a fob, he just one CV. Cheap as possible. Okay. At chat. Um, I did pop a link down in my channel when I announced this stream. So there was a link down there, if I'm not mistaken. Anyway, look at how far these guys are able to go. I thought the enemy had an air patrol up at some point, but they probably didn't detect the helos. Who needs Anna anyway? Just bypass the whole sector. Now the right flank... It has recon. Or sorry, it has tanks and it has AA, but it has no recon. This is not good. This could be a really, really weak point of their defense. Where are you gonna go? You know the map ends there at some point, right? There was a healer pushing Anna, but they didn't detect me, really? Oh yeah. Frogs. Interesting. Or are you gonna land here? Oh, I was thinking about it. We decided against it. He's gonna come into the rear from Boris. That's ballsy. This is also what happens if the enemy does not have proper reconnaissance. Meanwhile, you know, we've got Specialnys fighting off against Navy Seals and Delta. Doesn't seem to be going too well for the Navy Seals today. Interestingly. Yeah, nothing. <coughs> There's no AA Hilo with them. No, correct. There's no AA Hilo with them. But if they don't know that there is a threat here, then you don't even need an AA Hilo. So in this sense, he's just... Look at that. <laughs> and here is your AA, by the way. The Eriks. Now these guys can do 30 kph. So they can make it to that town very quickly. And then it's a short hop over to that forest. Here's that helo group. 
It's all frogs with miniguns. Chikyonsa. How's the right flank doing? I wonder. How did Blue not push this? Because there was absolutely nothing holding this flank. Yeah, there were two super heavies, or a super heavy and a half, but come on. Apparently the player who was operating here, or players, was slash were not aggressive enough. Because Red 4 was just blind. We're finally getting the first reconnaissance arriving now. But the game's already six minutes in. Guess they got lucky here. Oh! They're finally deploying recon to this flank. I think they might have detected the helos. Okay. It's a well-known fact that elite forces <laughs> replace your legs with wheels. Yeah. I guess that's how they're able to do 30 kph sustained. Okay, so this is going to throw a wrench in the works. That LAV... Yeah, asking for already support. I'd say Red is doing remarkably well this match. There's a super heavy. That's the first thing I'm seeing of it. What you got here? It's recon. No, it's not recon. It's an RBS 56. Okay. Interesting play. Yep, there's the RBS scout. Don't already yet. What's your plan here? Oh, you think you can make it to the tree line through there? And then if you already this position, and you're giving away that you know that there's something there. So they don't, or he doesn't want already on it yet. Because it'll give away the fact that he has eyes on it. Clever. Well done. I, in this situation, probably would have called for Artie. Because I wouldn't have thought that far ahead. So that was really well done. I did see them for a second, really? When? It started aiming. Okay. Well, I think it wasn't long enough for Blue to realize that there's something out here. Otherwise, I would have probably pushed that thing in. And at this point, if the Eryx can make it through the forest and start spotting targets, and by the looks at the range, they might be able to hit the artillery too, then the game is very much in favor of the special forces here. And the LEV is now in favor. Now it can engage these guys at range. If it goes into the forest with these guys, it is good as dead. Blue scored 600, red scored almost 1400. Stream 7M. Splash. That's 2A5 dead. <coughs> okay, so if they're going aggressive, they can now push this flank. Dead. Good marker. Good coordination there. Didn't he bring in five helos? Yeah, he did. They're all over here. Um, but two of them still carry infantry. Already raining down on this part. Uh, a little bit of damage coming in. A T72 mod is playing very well with that smoke screen. Combination of smoke screen and the tree line is just enough to keep the tank concealed. Right flank. There's another NLI 20V. How does this guy have a 25 over here and over there? His attention must be massively spread out. Because if you're looking like this and you're concerned with this flank then you really have to keep shifting your eyes towards the minimap to actually notice that there's something here too. So this is probably not even that much of a threat. This is why I'm usually not in favor of having units spread out over multiple flanks. T-72 pulling back. Once again, <clears throat> the enemy is trying to rain down with HE and his friendly is deploying... Or his friendly, is it himself? Who is that? Here. Yeah, flank of Vienna smoking up his own tank. This is something I don't do nearly enough. I know that whenever I'm playing with a super heavy or something that resembles it, like T72 M1 mod, 
I just, well, forget my smoke play entirely. I'm too focused on keeping the tank alive through the specs of the tank than to actually use the support unit like that. So I'm really keeping a close eye on this and seeing what he's doing. Hold on. This guy is almost making a straight line for the helos. I don't like that. Oh, hello. See, again, this is one of those intelligence challenges. Do you fire at this thing and let the enemy know that you have eyes on it? Or do you not? And keep studying where it's firing. Gotta give credit to this guy, Saturday, Ni Saturday Mac. He is moving his artillery after firing. Might have something to do with the fact that these things can chew through their ammunition very quickly. I need to resupply the fob. Oh. Are you kidding? Is that an Atacams? One missile? What are you trying to hit? The Sava? Yeah. Oh, you guys have your work cut out for you. That's 120 points waiting to get killed right over there. Beautiful. The other two, let's say, reserve healers have moved up a little bit. Command vehicle spotted. Or command infantry group. Two fobs. Yeah, that's Saturday Night Mac. Or Saturday Mac resupplying at his own fob. He's now pushing forward. Has he scored any points? No, nothing yet. Please don't tell me I'm looking at a game where you score zero points. Because, yeah, it's a nice move having these guys behind enemy lines, but... It'd be nice if they actually do some damage. There we go. Atacams. And... a Hemets. Boom. That's 150 points. And they captured the Hemets, so they definitely know that they're there now. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Why did the Eric's Koya Yekari cross the bridge? Well... Let's just say there's a plenty of targets on this side. One CV, second CV, big artillery unit. So naturally they fire at nothing. No, they're firing at what I think is the command infantry. Yep, 100 points. Next command infantry. There's a hawk up there, Amos have been detected. Saturday Max surrenders. That's the guy who was using this artillery. He hasn't even lost his artillery yet, but now he has. Okay, a second ago I said he doesn't have any points. Now he has 485. Make that... 575. 665. Sorry, wrong player. 665. Jesus. <laughs> Just... The gall of pushing in right through the rear of the sector. Crossing the bridge. And done. That's another command vehicle done. Boris is neutralized. At this point, they have two CVs here. Uh, potentially something hiding in the back. And another infantry CV over there that we've already spotted. Wow. <laughs> well done. Yeah, we still got the Hammets. Oh, sorry, the uh, CPs over there. But Seber, I think, already left. At this point, I'm not really sure who's still here. Uh, I saw Uber Pirat leave, Seber leave. Um, Saturday Mac. <coughs> oh, really? How? Woods? Because there's not that many positions where you can be. This one? This is looking <coughs> a little conspicuous. Quite likely that there is, in fact, a infantry command unit quite close that the Eriks just are not able to see yet. And now the reinforcements come in. Of course, Blue is trying to get more units in here and resupply. Just the fact that they have both of the fobs captured. <laughs> 
Even if your guys get hurt, they can get resupplied very quick, so long as they don't die. Here come the Hamer. Oh, hold on. These are elite. I think Shyatet 13 is about to arrive. You might want to take these guys out before they do that. Yep, that was 13 points. And that was another 30 points. And there is Shyatet. And they are hammering away at this group of Eriks. Points. Holy crap. How did Blue do this bad? 895, 39, 60, 4,000? I'm sorry, but this had very little to do with the fact that he was able to get in here so quick. This was just a really unusual Blue 4 team, I guess. No. Oh, I thought we were going to get that thing with one shot as the Leclerc was exposing his side. Optical failure. If you have an optical failure, do not drive a tank into infantry. Even if you do not have an optical failure, you do not... What are you doing? Okay. Well, they neutralized it again. Yeah, this is basically done. <laughs> oh, there's the LIV-25. Finally. What? Okay. Almost there's the CV. And that's the last CV. Jesus. A tactical game in 15 minutes. Okay. And uh, he killed 1187 points and lost nothing. That is really impressive. Normally you only see that when somebody's using artillery. He was not using artillery. He only used infantry, which makes it all the more impressive. And fair enough. He didn't kill any particularly dangerous units. I mean, sure, an Atacams and Leclerc are fairly dangerous. Um, just not to infantry. And he just ambushed them. One, two, three, four, five. Five command units. One player killing five command units. <laughs> okay. Well played. I like that. Alright, let me know what your thoughts are down below in the description. Or sorry, in the comments. <laughs> this was interesting. Um, it was also interesting to see how ju just how bad Blue 4 played. Because Blue 4 just did absolutely nothing. 895 points in kills. That means that they killed some infantry, maybe an aircraft or two, and that's about it. <laughs> okay. Anyway, that's it for today. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to be a Patreon supporter. Link below in the description. And I'll see you soon for more videos.